in this cypress video we are going to see how to record the test execution in the cypress automation framework so it is very simple so we have to set the video flag to true in the cypress configuration file and let's do this configuration and after that we will execute the one simple automation test in the cypress and we will validate whether we are able to generate the test execution video or not so here i will navigate to the vs code and i will open the cypress.config.js file so here after the line number six i'm adding the one flag called video colon true that's it guys so i will close the configuration file and then so we will run the data driven testing to dot cy dot js file for this particular data driven test so we are passing three sets of test data so this these three sets of test data we are passing on to the data driven testing to dot cy dot js file now we will execute this particular spec file from the command prompt so simply i will open the command prompt and here i have already navigated to the this particular folder and here simply you type npx followed by cypress run hyphen hyphen browser and here we have to provide the browser name hyphen hyphen headed so we are we are adding hyphen hyphen headed because we want to see the execution in the ui and followed by that we have to specify the spec file and in the double quotes we have to specify the spec file so simply i will right click on the js file and here i will say copy relative path that's it and here i will add the spec file then i will hit the enter so it will open up the browser and it will start executing the data driven suit so we are passing three sets of test data so same test case will run three times so if you see here so it is loaded with the three test so because of the test data what we are passing from the json file so firstly it is running with the first set of test data and it is waiting for some time and it started with the second execution where it is passing the second set of test data so in my case internet is a bit slow that's the reason it is taking a little bit of time and it started executing the third time same test case with the third set of test data once the execution is completed we should be able to see the test execution recorded video so that's it guys so if you look at the our command prompt also so we, we ran only one spec file which has the three test cases in the sense we are passing the three set of test data and if you see above here video output so this is where exactly test execution recorded video is generated so that is within the our framework cypress folder and inside that it has created a videos folder and inside the videos folder by by the spec name we should be able to find the dot mp4 video so if you go to the vs code so previously this videos folder was not present now it has created it let's go to the location where exactly it is present and if i open the videos folder and here we are having the mp4 video of the 
test case execution. So let's open the video now. And if you see here, so firstly it is running the test by passing the first set of test data. That's it guys. So if you see here, if I forward the video, you can see the recording of, of the data driven testing test case execution. So this is how we can enable the video recording of the test case execution in the Cypress automation framework.